a 37-year-old aerospace engineer who heads up an Arizona-based group of over 500 scientists called Ground Saucer Watch. Using computers, they analyze thousands of photographs of UFOs, including scores which were just released to them under the Freedom of Information Act by the CIA. Bill showed me some UFO pictures which were hoaxes, and some that weren't. Now these are what? What are we going to see here? Well, I have a collection here of what we consider to be hoax photographs. A photograph from the foreign country shows a UFO with some writing on it. Uh, this turned out to be a paper plate using the fishing pole technique, suspending it with a thread, putting the camera low to the ground. Uh, another UFO photograph taken here in Arizona. The uh, witness claimed to be picked up in the desert, whisked away to New York in 21 minutes and return. We found out that the UFO is nothing more than a tin plate and a tin cup. <laughs> tossed into the air. Here's the old hammock technique, as we call it, where you take your little UFO model and suspend it between the trees. Here's the uh, old montage technique, a little model uh, photographed against a San Francisco background and put together in the studio. And there's airbrush marks on there and all kinds of photographic flaws that prove it to be a hoax. This is one of the better ones. You talk about the extremes that people go through. Here where we believe to have a little monkey shaved, dyed green, a little bit of photographic work done to the face, and then he had his picture taken with two guys in handcuffs to simulate the government officials. And now people thought that that was an, uh, an alien from outer space? Yes. It was disseminated around the world, this particular photograph. Just a photograph, but anybody up close would have known that's a monkey painted green. Keep in mind, when this came out in the 50s, uh, there was a lot of uh, scare of UFOs going along, there was a lot of hush-up going on, and there was also a lot of books and people were ready to believe that uh, UFOs are from another planet and this type of thing made it big then. Now, do you have any slides here of real ones? We have approximately 40 that fit the bona fide category. One such sequence here that passed computer enhancement technology when flying colors was taken in Brazil, 1958, off an IGY ship, International Geophysical Year. And the inset shows a blow up of what we believe to be some of the best UFO photographs taken of the still variety in the 50s. In other words, the small object is, the, the big one's just a blow up of a right. small object. Right. Okay. You can see the platform around it, the typical dish shape is described by hundreds of witnesses throughout the years. The UFO momentarily hovered in this particular mode and then started picking up speed again, going off to sea at a tremendous speed. The whole sighting lasted approximately 90 seconds and by no way is that thing hoaxed or misinterpreted as a conventional object. This is probably the best photographic sequence taken in the early 50s, the Trent series, taken in Oregon. This has been analyzed by everybody who's anybody. NAB pick of the CIA, the Air Force, everybody who has a photographic uh, intelligence, photographic uh, expertise has looked at it and has passed in flying colors. Now who took these? This was taken by a farmer and his wife in Oregon in 1950. And we feel this to be one of the strongest photographic bits of evidence of a still photographic variety shot in the United States. Wow.